Right, this is a KTM uh, 690. What is it, Chris? Supermoto. Piece of shit. Yeah, terrible machine. Um, if you've got a choice, never buy one. <laughs> a Lego set would be uh, <laughs> would make a better engine. But anyway, we're a bit. This is a bit um, gorilla gorilla mechanics going on here. But I thought I'd just give a quick video to show timing these engines up in case you haven't got a manual. So you've got your camshaft sprocket here, and you've got your. This is your decompression, auto decompressor assembly here. You know when you've got the camshaft in the right place because this little lever is at the top next to this hole. Just like it isn't. Now that hole then aligns with the hole um, on top there so you can actually um, put your bolt through this hole and screw in there which holds the whole uh, camshaft yeah, in this, place. This black thing here for those so when this hole is perfectly aligned with that hole, you know you've got the, the, the camshaft in the correct place. And if you go to the bottom of the engine, you don't need to take this cover off. We took that cover off because Chris dropped a bit of metal inside the engine. So that normally that would be in place. So what we've got here is, right on the side, we've got this bolt. Now I've taken a bolt out. This is the bolt that I took out of the side of the engine. It's only a short bolt. You take that out from where this bolt now is. And then you get a long bolt and screw it in here. But before you do that, you need to turn the end of the crank until the hole on the flywheel aligns with the hole in the case. You'll see, if you shine a torch in there, you'll see lots of little cutouts in the flywheel. But then as you get to top dead center, you'll see a perfectly round cutout, which perfectly aligns with this hole in the case. You then screw this bolt through the case into the hole in the crank and it completely locks the engine dead you'll never turn that now so then you know that the engine's at top dead center on the bottom that hole there is perfectly in the center so that's top dead center on the top and then Chris is then going to secure the bracket back on to hold the camshaft in place um, and then the engine is timed up and then obviously you need to uh, install the tensioner but I hope that little slightly crap video has given someone a heads up.